Hi, I'm Tammy Sorensen, and today I would like to talk about frequencies and the quantum law of attraction. Frequencies are everywhere. Every time we notice colors, they're all made up of frequencies. Every time we listen to music or the birds or whatever audible things are coming into our ears is frequencies. Everything around us operates off of frequencies. Our Bluetooth, our internet, our televisions, our cell phones, everything's a frequency. As well as what we put into our bodies is a frequency, whether it's fruits and vegetables or junk food, whether it's medications, whether it's supplements, what we think about, how we're feeling, all of it is a frequency. And when we're bombarded in culture with division and anger and fear and anxiety and strife and all these negative things, it's so important that as adults, we understand how to shift all of that into higher resonating frequencies and even more important to equip the next generation to do so at younger and younger ages. Higher resonating frequencies are so important. That's why organic vegetables are in their purest form are so good when we put them into our body. But likewise, what we think about and how the thoughts we entertain, the emotions we entertain, what we speak, what we put out there in social media, it's all a frequency and it's imperative in this now time that we get a hold of higher resonating frequencies. There's a quantum law in place and quantum laws are so interesting to study and the law of attraction holds true. What you think about, what you meditate on, what you put into your body and what you give out of your body in your thinking and your words is what you attract more of. So all the more important for us to focus on higher resonating frequencies. Scripture is constantly validating quantum science. And I love what it says in Romans 12 too from the Passion Translation. Stop imitating the ideals and the opinions of the culture around you. Be inwardly transformed by the Holy Spirit through a total reformation of how you think. Renew your mind. We're supposed to meditate on his word day and night because it renews our minds with higher resonating frequencies. This will empower us to discern God's will as we live a beautiful life, satisfying and perfect in his eyes. One of the most important scriptures for this to especially equip children with comes from Philippians 4.8. It means that we're supposed to keep our thoughts fixed on what is authentic and real, honorable and admirable, beautiful and respectful, pure and holy, merciful and kind, and fasten our thoughts on every glorious work of God, praising him always. When we are working towards those higher resonating frequencies, when we are equipping a generation to shift their thinking, to renew their minds, with things that produce peace, produce love, produce um, dreams and visions and enthusiasm and excitement and relationships that are positive instead of what we're currently seeing manifest in the natural realm, it affects our overall health and well-being. And one of the things in sound therapy that really helps bring balance because everything is so out of balance right now. But strings are a real important sound therapy tool for bringing the best balance of odd and even harmonics. So today I'm gonna to do a Holy Spirit led spontaneous instrumental piece all in A444 Hertz tuning because I'm gonna use some different keys today. And I want to just with the intention release higher resonating frequencies that bring balance into what's going on in our lives, in our families, in our culture, and I pray that it will be a blessing to you.
check out my other CDs. Anytime I use strings, that's the intention behind that. I have a multitude of different um, instrumental recordings out on Spotify, Amazon, Apple, on my websites, wherever digital distribution is sold. It's also the premise, everything I talked about today with frequencies and the law of attraction is the premise behind my entire children's heart cry project. I have a brand new album release in this specifically for kids and families. I have a companion book uh, detailing some specifics about each of the songs and the frequencies and how to shift and renew all of those things as well as I have a full curriculum with hands-on activities specific to what I talked about today with frequencies and shifting and renewing and focusing on the higher resonating frequencies because that's kingdom. So stay tuned. I'll be back again next week with another episode of the Children's Heart Cry.